Hello learners, I am Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raur Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. Okay, here I, I need to show that the given four points are concyclic. Okay, concyclic means that the four points lie on one circle. Okay, so how are we going to do that is, I am going to find the equation of the circle through the first three points. Okay, I am going to find the equation of circle because to find the equation of circle, three points are sufficient. I'm going to find the equation of circle then I'm going to substitute the fourth point in the equation which I had obtained and then see whether it would satisfy if it will satisfy the fourth point satisfy that equation then it means that the given points are concise okay so this is how I'm going to proceed uh, I'm going to take the first uh, first uh, four points like this uh, a is 1 1 and b is minus 6 0 c is 1 okay uh, let the equation of the circle through a b and c b the standard one x square plus y square plus 2 j x plus 2 y plus c equals to 0 okay all good so i need to find out there are three things which i need to find out g f and c you see uh, uh, x square plus y square that's there and x and y it's fine so but g f c i don't know i'm gonna find them okay now stay with me uh, see understand this circle is passing through a b and c it basically means that a lies on the circle b lies on the circle and c lies on the circle this means that the point a satisfies this equation this circle equation okay see circle passes through a 1 comma 1 so it satisfies this equation just put 1 comma 1 in this equation wherever you see x put 1 and y also put 1 so 1 square plus 1 square plus 2g into 1 plus 2 f into 1 plus c equal to 0 all good now next go ahead so just solve it this is what you would get this is my first equation okay now next uh, in the place of uh, uh, x y now put uh, b's coordinates because why because the circle passes through b minus 6 comma 0 also right circle is passing through b also so this point these two my this coordinates also satisfy this equation like minus six zero if you put it so this is what i'd get and then solve it so i'd get 36 plus 0 minus 12g plus c equal to zero ultimately this is what i get 36 minus 12g plus c equal to zero this is my second equation now for the third equation the circle passes through c minus 2 comma 2 so my just put minus 2 comma 2 in the equation which i showed you in the beginning x square plus y square plus 2 gx plus 2 y plus c equal to 0 all good now let's go ahead so this is what i get this is what i have now just substituted uh, i substituted it just simplify it like minus 2 whole square is uh, plus 4 2 square is 4 and minus 2 in 2g into minus 2 is minus 4g and 2f into 2 is plus 4f plus c equal to 0 all good so just simplify it 8 minus 4g plus 4f plus c equal to 0 so this is what i have okay this is my third equation okay now to get now here i have three variables g f c and f three equations okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sub i'm going to do two minus one equation two minus equation one so that that would eliminate c and next uh, okay let's do that first uh because like we need to reduce the variables uh, so that we can find out g uh, g f and c we cannot find them in one shot it would be difficult <sighs> okay so fine uh, 2 minus 1 so this was my equation 2 and this was my equation 1 okay now see uh, I'm subtracting so be careful of the sign changes like 36 minus 2 it is 34 minus 2 minus 12 G minus 2 G okay here it's plus minus is there so understand be alert about that minus 12 G minus 2 G is going to be minus 14 G okay minus 12 G minus 2 G is minus 14 G and here f is not there so this is just minus 2f so this is what i get 34 minus 14g minus 2f equal to 0 c minus c is anyways that 0 all good let's go ahead now uh just i'm gonna write it in the standard form like uh, g f and constant so this would be like minus 14g minus 2f plus 34 equal to 0 now okay since there are like two minus signs okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take minus 2 common okay i'm gonna take minus 2 common if i'll take minus 2 common uh, so I'd be left out with 7g here. I'd be left out with plus f here, and I'd be left out with minus 17 because I took minus two common here. It's plus, so it would be minus once I take something common. Okay, let's go ahead. Send this minus two here. After that, uh, I'd get zero by minus two is zero anyway. RHS is going to be zero. My equation would be the 7g plus f minus 17 is equal to zero. All good. This is my equation four. Next, I'm gonna do equation three minus equation two. Uh, so that you see i got one equation without g uh, without c here I'm, I'm i'm trying for another equation without c for that i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to do equation 3 minus equation 2 so 3 minus 2 uh, so this was my, this was my equation 3 and this was my equation 2 so just subtracting it now be careful here here i have 8 minus 36 okay 
be, be wary of this minus sign okay each and every one of it gets a change of sign so be careful about it while you're subtracting okay 8 minus 36 okay now what's this 8 minus 36 it's actually minus 28 in case you are feeling difficult see 8 minus 36 understand the minus sign is over 36 okay it is big it is bigger so ultimately the final result has to be negative in case you are feeling difficult what is 8 minus 36 you could do 36 minus 8 which is 28 and then just put minus sign because the final answer needs to be negative now next I have minus 4g here I have minus 12g but it, the sign would change so it, it is plus 12g so minus 4g plus 12g it is nothing but 12g minus 4g which is nothing but 8g okay so it is minus 28 plus 8g 4f nothing is there here so 4f minus 0 it's just 4 and c minus c it's gone okay let's go ahead now uh, again let us write it in the form g f and constant okay so 8g plus 4f minus 28 equal to 0 now uh okay uh okay i marked it as five here only my bad sorry for that uh let's take four common here because it would simplify our calculations by unnecessarily you know lengthen it okay now next uh let's take four common uh if i'll take four common here uh i'd, I'd get 2g plus f minus 7 okay because four zones are 28 now send this four here zero by four that's nothing but zero so ultimately i get 2g minus uh, 2g plus f minus 7 equal to zero okay uh it's a small mistake from my side i hope you will forget me uh, forgive me so don't just mark it as five okay mark this one as five okay mark this one as five now what i'm gonna do is now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna solve i'm gonna solve the fourth and fifth equation this is my fifth equation that was my fourth okay so my fourth equation my fifth equation now for solving i'm gonna use something like the crisscross way uh, now what is that means uh, you write uh, here the variables are g and f and one. okay so write the variables like this g f and one in case you know this it's well and good if not you could use the substitution method or elimination method whatever suits you you can use it and solve the equations fine i prefer this one because it is a standard one which can be used for any of the two equations fine and it is fair enough in its calculations without much of a difficulty that's why i prefer this and i saw that students also prefer some of my students prefer this one, teaching the same thing to you all, okay? So fine, uh, so for this method, what you need to do is, in the first equation, the coefficient of f is 1, okay? So first write the coefficient of f here, then the next one is minus 17, then next one is 7, then again 1, okay? Likewise, for the second equation also, uh, coefficient of f is 1, and then minus 7, and then 2, and then again 1. Okay, so what I get is g by 1 into minus 7 is minus 7, minus of 1 into minus 17 is minus 17 so minus 7 minus of minus 17 g divided by minus 1 minus of minus 17 that's what i have next that's what i mentioned crisscross okay and f divided by minus 17 into 2 is minus 34 minus of minus 7 into 7 it's nothing but minus 49 so f divided by minus 34 minus of minus 49 1 divided by 7 into 1 minus 2 into 1 with 7 minus 2 and don't forget to put equal to okay now let's go ahead so g divided by minus 7 plus 17 and f divided by minus 34 plus 49 because if you see here i have minus of minus minus of minus is nothing but plus and 7 minus 2 is 5 okay now let's go ahead so 17 minus minus 7 plus 17 or no, 17 minus 1 it's 10 and here i have 15 g by 10 is equal to by 15 is equal to 1 by 15. Now these three are equal, so I'm going to take it like g by 10 is equal to 1 by 5 once and f by 15 is equal to 1 by 5. Next. So that I could get g and f. Okay. Uh, now next, uh, send this 10 here and send this 15 here. So g is nothing but 10 by 5. I'm sure you know it. It's 2. And f is 3. Okay. So one thing is done. I got g, I got f. Next. I need to get c. Okay. For that, just take any one of the three equations. Like we obtained three equations, right? Just put g and f there and then you could get c. I'm just taking the first equation. The first equation is 2 plus 2g plus 2f plus c equal. I'm sorry, 2 plus 2g plus 2f plus c equal to 0. Okay, just put uh, g and f here so that you could get c. So g was 2 and f was 3. So ultimately, I get uh, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus c equal to 0. 12 plus c equal to 0. c is minus 12. Okay, so fine. Ultimately, the equation of my circle is I got G, F, C. Okay, just substitute them in the equation which I showed you in the beginning. X square plus Y square plus 2G, X plus 2, F, Y plus C equal to 0. In there, uh, I got G as 2. So, I get X square plus Y square plus 2G into 2. 
uh, I mean, I'm sorry, plus uh, 2gx, right? Plus, so 2 into 2, it's 4x. So x squared plus y squared plus 4x. And if I got 3, so 2 into 3 is 6. 6y and c is just as it is minus 2. Okay, but the question does not end here. Okay. Now, so we need to check whether the fourth point lies on uh, lies on the circle equation. Okay, I mean lies on the circle or not. Okay, whether the fourth point satisfy this or not. For that, what I'm going to do is just put this in the LHS of the above equation. Okay, and let's just verify whether it holds holds true or not. So minus the fourth point. Okay, so minus two whole square plus minus eight whole square plus four into minus two plus six into minus eight minus twelve. So the solve it like minus 2 whole square is 4 and 8 minus 8 square is plus 64 minus 8 minus 48 6 is a 48 and minus 12. So if you'll solve it, if you'll continue, so continue to solve it, see 4 plus 64 is 68 and minus 8 minus 12 is minus 20 minus 20 minus 48 is minus 68. So 68 minus 68 which is nothing but 0. So D lies on the circle hence the given 4 points are concyclic. Okay, hence the given four points. Uh, once I click, that's it. Thank you very much for staying with me up till now. I know this might have been a bit lengthy, but thank you very much for staying with me. I hope this helped you. In case you like this video, please hit the like button. It would encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Not just this, I made some other questions also related to circles and some other topics of intermediate second year. So please do check them out uh, in the uh, description uh, and or else you could browse my channel to get something else also fine so thank you very much once again